Hello, hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another uh, fun witchy thing, witchy unboxing from the Witch's Moon. Um, I was kind of reflecting before uh, opening this box. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> how crazy it was, you know, just like, <laughs> it feels like it was just May of last year. Because that uh, last year, um, and maybe received this um, tarot deck in our May box, which I have loved that. Um, I just thought how fast, like you know, twenty twenty two went by, and it just seems like twenty twenty three is kind of like starting to go at that pace. Like you know, I feel like that's when the f the fire starts going through. Um, I had to kind of just do a little peeksy woozy <laughs> in my box, um, and clean up my, uh, the box because there's some, uh, remnants of, um, was <laughs> in the box. Uh, I already emailed that, them about this, um, as, uh, the salts were like everywhere, <laughs> the salts that are coming in this box. Um, and, uh, and then, um, I'm going to be refilming my witch's bounty because I wasn't happy with my pendant. Like, clear quartz is one of my favorite stones, and for some reason, I just wasn't, like, clinging on to that pendant like I would normally, like, just, like, want to be wearing it. And I, um emailed the witch's moon about my salts <laughs> my it kind of like spilled everywhere so I just kind of cleaned that I kind of like <laughs> had to kind of just do a little peek seat and clean up everything that was in because it was everywhere inside my box and I didn't want to do that all on, on camera so everything else is fine in my box it was just how the salts are packaged I miss them putting them in the jars because my shelf and my bathroom the like little bags <laughs> they're all next to each other where like the jars are so nice you could like stack them but um and then that was the reason why this was open is because the little mouth wasn't um zip locked all the way across so um otherwise everything was in my box and everything's fine but um they were so sweet i sent back my pendant that I received in my box and they shipped out a new one so I'm waiting for that I'm excited to see what the new pendant's gonna look like um and then I'll just kind of like put everything back in the witch's bounty box and then I'll just like show what came in that and then wait to look at the witch's the new bounty you know the new so that um unboxing might be a little bit different but um, that's okay. <laughs> so, um, I, I thought it was so funny, the theme of this, because it was like, I subscribed to them. They've been so, and I hated to complain about a pendant, because it was like, customer service. And then I watched like a, someone did a video about like, uh, customer service, how it, it's not just like, you know, if you thought it was just you, it's like, an overall... It has been an un not a pleasant experience for a lot of people because <laughs> I was subscribed to um, a subscription box and I was getting broken crystals and then mislabeled crystals and I wasn't happy, you know, and I, and I was kind of sharing that with them. I was subscribed to them for four years. You know, if you have me, like, I'm, I go for the long haul. <laughs> so, you know, um... I was really enjoying their box, but, um, it was crazy when they told me that it's, this wasn't fun anymore, and, um, about, like, me, because they, like, they, they, they owed me crystals, you know, and it was kind of felt weird for, like, bugging them, but I was like, you guys, like, aren't, you know, you're, like, shipping out new boxes, but I'm not getting, like, the broken crystals that were in my previous box, so I was getting both versions of their subscription box too because like <laughs> you know like I said if I like something I like something and I like it you know I'll go the full the full bit for it um 
but uh, you know, it, it was so just beautiful interacting with them. They were just like, no worries, no problems. When you ship it out, let us know. We'll ship the pendant out. And they did it that afternoon. So my pendant should be, I think, here on the 15th. And today is the 12th. So it's like, you know, bing, bing, bang, boom, like beautiful. So it's just like, they, and I had a problem before where like the crystal came out of the bezel. It was so weird how it happened, but I just sent them the old pendant. They sent me a new one back. It was really easy and nice. But um, I thought this was interesting, this theme, because I had to wait like three months in 2020 to be subscribed to the witch's moon and um and i was just like really watching and living vicariously through <laughs> unboxing videos um until and then i finally had it myself you know um my first box i received was the roots became available then the bounty and then the moon so i have them in that order and i have every bounty filmed Somehow, like, my September bounty of, was it 2020 or 2021? Because that's my birth, you know, my birthday month. So, usually, like, that pendant for September, I'll, like, say it's my birthday pendant. Um, we received Rotocrosite with um, Garnet and a Rose Quartz pendant, which was reminiscent of the style that it almost looks like a pendulum, kind of. Um, could be used as like a dowsing, you know, pendant. Um, it reminds you of the pendant um, that's like for the witch's bounty this month, but they did different, you know, they did clear quartz, amber, and citrine instead. But that one's like all pink. I can't, for some reason, I can't find like <laughs> that because uh, I wanted to watch it. But um, yeah, I have all those, and I was like, it's I'm so happy I'm finally uploading. But it's t taken me that long to do so. But um, my first moon, and I want to show my um, my journals. I actually got this from their moon market, and it's beautiful. I have um, two volumes of this. So I filled up the herbal part in here. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, I can't keep going so I gotta do I figured I'm gonna just do volume one and volume two and I'll just keep making volumes as I go but um slowly but surely I've been making um this and I haven't written in it yet because it's still but this was like one of the first artworks I received from them which I thought was so funny how it's like kind of full rotation <laughs> of um I've seen unboxings already, and what's and like I said, I had to go through this box to um, get all that salt out. <laughs> but um, I thought that was like interesting. How it's kind of like all kind of um, seeing all the like synchronicities. But um, I want to do a, like a little flip through of my little grimoire I made from them. This contains all their artwork. Um, and then I have a bigger version. Um, but I added the skeleton key to be a little waiter. Uh, so I'd like to do, if you're interested in a video with, of that, um, I will be eventually doing it. But um, so I'll change the box. So I try to just like put everything back as I saw it. <laughs> um, and then I have a bigger book for their bigger artworks. Um, this is my bigger book. Um, and uh, I have it sectioned off as well. I'm trying to have it sectioned. And I take the artwork out of the sleeves and then um, still some salts. Um, and then I have to cut. <laughs> it pains me to do it, but I, pa I cut off that white border. Um, so it matches with the with the beige papers or the pages I mean. But um oh my goodness. It's not what I meant to be doing on the I mean to be <laughs> I know there's gonna be more salts. <laughs> but 
But um, okay, so let's get into her box. So I always love her ledgers. Um, it was so funny because like I um love keeping like the wraps for I I miss them doing the colors. I'm gonna be doing a a tarot collection and oracle collection video too. I think I'll do them separately, but. I loved how they were doing like, you know, different colors. <laughs> um, and then it was fun to be able to do that. You know what's so crazy? I just noticed the hangman is at the bottom of both of these two decks. Is that the hangman? The hangman. I wonder what's in the middle. And then the three of wands. Interesting. If anyone knows what that means, <laughs> I'd love to interesting that, that those same two cards showed up <clears throat> but um i love to save the ties <laughs> um i love saving my oracle for last i love how this card looks it's like my vibe all the way of those golden colors and like it looks um has like arabian bohemian vibe to it the card it looks like it has gold gilding to it too but I don't want to be see it I don't want to look at that card yet though and then we always get um on the ledger the last page is a blank page a parchment for um your ritual spells <clears throat> whatever you want to like write so I like to put these things to the side <laughs> I use everything that's in this box <laughs> like shown so we have the Earthen Vessel, Celtic Tree Edition. I shall read, let's read about it. Through each transition of the year, we find seeds of change. Our lives, as we currently know and understand it, is at the constant crossroad, facing never-ending transformation. As practitioners, we embrace this flow and call upon its movement to carry us through to vibrant and purposeful <laughs> excuse me, perfect, purposeful experiences. Um, through this beautiful craft, we are able to get a better understanding, excuse me, be, but, but, <laughs> through, through these beautiful craft, through this beautiful craft, we are able to better understand these transitions and work with the natural cycles to bring good into our world and into the world of others. We find connections with everything that surrounds us and come to realization to realize that we are one with all universal energies. In this very exciting collection, we have curated a variety of items that are or excuse me, that can be practically used by fostering abundant and meaningful energies during these cycles. <clears throat> these items are truly inspired, intentional, and can provide you with a direct link to the great and wondrous earthly elements. The magical items in this box are as follows. Du -du -du -du. <laughs> du -du -du. <laughs> it wasn't a good one. <laughs> I'm not feeling my oats because Mother Nature blessed me with her presence. <laughs> so I'm feeling miserable. The tropical smoothie kiwi quencher helps so much. Because <laughs> brings me back to life. I also get probiotic, multivitamin, and flax seeds added to it. The flax seeds, like, if it adds a little bit more flavor to it that I like. <laughs> so, on the top, we have our beautiful grimoire pages. This is really fun. I love how they did this. Especially since, like, you saw my book. They did page one and page two. Of the Celtic tree horoscope. How beautiful is that? I love how they did her over here and then her over here. How beautiful are they? So we have the Celtic tree horoscopes. We have the you know, birch, rowan, ash. Alder, willow, hawthorn, excuse me, oak, holly, hazel, vine, ivy, reed, and elder. I 
I'm um, was born September 14th, so I'm Vine the Cultivator. Suspicious traits, hard worker, hard workers, very social, sociable, able to empathize with anyone, very appreciative of the fine things and euphoric experiences, easily expresses emotional vulnerability, planters of seeds and inspiration, and auspicious traits often play by indecision, compatibility willow, hazel, and ivy. Took me this long to upload, so that shows um, <laughs> a, little, a little indecisiveness. I think it's being more self-critical of myself and growing into my own of like being comfortable. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's it's funny how it mentioned um, very appreciative of the finer things and euphoric experiences. I've said this since I was a child, like. If I ever won like the lottery, <laughs> like you know, like one of those questions that I would love to spend the money on vacations, like uh, experiences, things to create memories and to bring people together, uh, like then material things, unless those material things are gonna make you happy, you know, may bring like memories and happiness to you as well. Um, I was like, I remember like, and I found one of my kid journals and I wrote that down, but I, it's like something that echoes in my mind because I, I remember saying it like so often because it was a weird question that like, <laughs> um, that was like asked a lot, like, in like some of the like questionnaire things I used to do like online or like in my little like, uh, workbooks and like goal books and stuff that they would ask. Here's the beautiful Celtic tree calendar. So beautiful. I love how I did this too. Try to show the whole thing. So I start. Where do you start? Here is so January starts here. Oh, and here's the little og 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 hems. I've seen people working with those. So it, it seems like it goes like this. Reverse clockwise. Interesting. So it makes sense. This being like, I don't, I don't know if that's Yule. If that's the, but I know that's Ostara. I think that's for Litha. And I know that's for Maybon. So. And I've always wanted to play the harp. <laughs> so it's funny how. She's right here by the vine. <laughs> I love Maybon. I'm. I, that's the. That's the. That's the Sabbath box. I want to really want to make sure I get this year from the Witch's Moon. I haven't explored some more of their Sabbath boxes yet. But that one and the and the Samhain one, I'm excited for. And the Litha one because I love Midsummer. <laughs> um. So here is. About the three, the third, I, the Celtic tree calendar artwork, <clears throat> and then the horoscope, page one and page two. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go to the second page. Okay, let's show. No, uh, anointing oil and here's like I saw this while I was putting it like putting this back you can see on the the bubble wrap the salt seeping <laughs> all over you can see like the wood pieces and the salts are on the bubble wrap it was everywhere <laughs> more out of the bag than in the bag but it's okay they sent a new one coming in a couple days <laughs> but I've been loving the ritual sprays that they were including in the boxes then the oils I do love their oils but earthly roots that smells really nice so um, let's see about 
be doing a new set of nails later on today so i'll be having a different color so i'm definitely matching the green <laughs> vibes of the um earthly earthly vibes of the box leaves <laughs> um as you anoint your magical tools for joy visualize an immediate connection between you and the earth it is vital that you truly visualize these connections building as if roots were growing from beneath your feet we have enhanced this magical oil with juniper pine cedarwood and clove oils and we have included oak and willow bark as well inside you will find a quartz crystal said the person i witness within your aura we will include a special mixture of our standard brown magical oil from personal cabinet witchery into the mixture of this oil i love that they use a sunflower oil base because i love the vibes of the sunflower um here is um the one that's getting us into a little bit of trouble try to fill her back up but you can see like it's weird some of the salts that stayed out i was catching it with my <laughs> the top of the card box thanks uh dark moon or wild moon lunar deck <laughs> i'm okay miles this is the <laughs> that's what's on the other side <laughs> Um, just to show, <laughs> I, those little ties work, are very handy, <laughs> but, um, that's not really good. It's weird because the salt turned white being out of the bag compared to, like, the salt that were in the bag. Maybe because they are, like, they have, they're, they have oil on them, you know, there's, like, oil mixed into those salts. If you can see in there, they're clear. We're like the ones that sat out are white. But there's um <laughs> oh no, big mess. She's making a mess. She's making a mess. <laughs> so I'm glad that they sent me a new bag. <laughs> um, but I love the um Last year, I, I missed that they put the, cause like I have on, I have a little shelf in my um, bathroom for all my salts and bath bombs and stuff. They used to put their salts in a jar. Now I have like the little packets, you know, lined up, but um, the jar is stacking. But yeah, the Ziploc wasn't closed all the way. It was, it was left like that. <laughs> like the little mouth. <laughs> but um a watchful a watcher of willow they love how they did the willow tree let's see what's in here there's a pretty quote it looks like we are thrilled to finally introduce our watcher of willow sacred salt blend into this very collection willow is the tree of enchantment and mystery she is a symbol of feminine principle and, and is ruled by the moon she's prompt or excuse me, she promotes and increases our psychic and intuitive powers. She stimulates our intuition, makes our dreams more vivid, and enables us to interpret their messages. That's a quote. I'm going to botch her name. But, um, and then it says, relax, let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you resonate with the earth, earthly ingredients of the sacred soul, take the time to ponder and connect. All the energies of the willow to bring you a glimpse of fresh insight and redefine purpose. <clears throat> and we have enchanted this sacred soul with cedarwood and pine oils, as well as white pine, oak, and willow bark we have also included a special mixture of our druid insight magic oil from our personal cabinet of witchery <laughs> we got that and then <clears throat> Woo! oh my gosh <laughs> flipping of uh I have my pillow my pillow I have my tripod on a pillow <laughs> but it's not feeling good on bed but <laughs> rolling around on me 
Okay, next item is the Santillium Ritual Incense Sticks. I love the new labels that they've been doing on their incense sticks. Um, they smell so nice. And since I've watched many in, um, unboxings of this already, this is just another word for sandalwood. Which, it's crazy, sandalwood has been very prominent um, to me re recently. And that's what that, I guess that, that like musky, sexy, dark smell is. This is sandalwood. Um, it says... This woody and fragrant scent has been used medicinally to relax and ease anxiety in the and those that commonly struggle with stress and sensory overload. Um, and sandalwood into this collection to promote subtle, calm, and soft energy. Can't wait to light that. Light it, but I'm on my bed. <laughs> um, let's get to... I'm excited for this. <laughs> It's like small and like, um, I love when they make the little like spell bags. They made the Earthly Abundance Spell Charm Bag. I sent them a little spell bag, um, with the pendant. <laughs> I, I included Blue Appetite and flower petals that came from like my Beltane, um, like dried flowers of like the flowers I had for that the past two weeks um now they're like finally starting to dry but funny to mention beltane in an old old box they included this charm on a candle and when i saw that i was like oh and we finally have that charm too as this little triquatra acorn um and it says on the back they did a really good um I hope they gift me another one of these. I hope that's what their gift is with the sacred salts. Um, I'll see you when, when I do my <clears throat> bounty unboxing. I think it says, uh, grow abundance on the back. <clears throat> and then they added a smoky quartz tumble. Really pretty. They gave us um, one of a smoky quartz tumble in the roots box last, last month, which I loved it. <clears throat> of smoky quartz so we have smoky quartz <clears throat> so in the earthly abundance spell charm bag smoky quartz tumbled stone the pewter triquatra acorn affirmation charm um the willow bark and oak bark um birch bark white pine and elderberry elderberry to provide protection against negative energy or energetic influences white pine to bestow peace and harmony in the surrounding area birch bark to protect and purify uh, both the willows to attract love and compassion while protecting from evil oak for purification um the affirmation charm this pewter acorn charm has been has the following inscription on the back, grow abundance, and then the smoky quartz tumble a wonderful stone to protect and clearing smoky quartz has been included within this spell charm bag to bring clarity of thought and spirit pushing aside any prominent s storm clouds in life. <laughs> Love that. It smells very nice, very beautiful. Um, <clears throat> let's see, so then we have, we have given our tea, and our muslin bag, let's take a look at our tea, it's very, it smells really nice, it reminds me of, um, I think it's called Harvest Season for Tame Wild's Tea with the rose hips in it. it smells really nice. Um, the Double Vitality Ritual Herbal 
tea with the muslin bag, caffeine free. Um, this ritual tea has been created with rose hips, elderberry, and hibiscus, in addition to other natural and artificial fruit flavors. You're going to use approximately one teaspoon of tea for approximately eight ounces of water. Um, a wonderfully fruit, fruity blend. It does smell very nice. It smells like, um, I really loved in the Roots box, I think it was January, the Bridges collection. That tea smelled like gushers. <laughs> Where this one has like, I think it's the rose hips that make, seems like it's making a little more tart. But still has that like, very sweet smell or it's like, it smells like a little, like a fruit candy. All teas that smell <laughs> are sweet like that. Um, here's our herby of the month. So we got white pine. White pine bark, known for portraying qualities of peace and harmony. White pine bark continues to be one of the most resilient additions to working during this time. In addition to promoting relaxation, white pine promotes clarity of mind and emotional balance. For century, for, excuse me, for centuries, this bark has been relied upon for indigenous peoples to treat respiratory issues and fevers. As you include this herb upon your altar display or within your workings, it allows energy to push you towards a more positive and awesome, <laughs> I was going to say an awesome way of living, <laughs> optimistic way of living. <laughs> I think awesome way of living is another way to say it too. Um, and then really below the white pine bark, it's the personalized oracle reading on the parchment paper. So there's 14 items in the box again this month. Uh, last month was the least amount of items I've seen in a witch's moon box, 12 items. Um, let's go up. So, I did the um, oil, I think it's just the, the candle, and then the like, bigger items in the box, okay? So here's the candle of the month. You can see the small... brown spell candle in the um, bounty box. I love the brown. Reminds me of like the root beer candies, A&W, like root beer candies. But it was cute how I did the little triquatra, oops, on the candle before. It's lost in there, but they had the little, little, um, they had it, like, on the, on the candle, which was really cute. This is the hand-rolled, everlast, everlasting stand candle. I noticed there's no incantation this month, you know, in the, uh, in the artwork pieces, because usually the candle, we have an incantation to go with it. Let's see what it says about the candle. We have hand rolled and anointed the spell candle with the purpose of providing the energies of stability and sturdiness. Brown candles carry the essence of firm understanding and stability during times of chaos or confusion, as well as commonly used, or excuse me, as commonly being associated with growth and prosperity. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you. This can include Cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone for a purposed ritual. We recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may speak words clearly and out loud. Enhancing your intentional energy. Allow this natu allow the natural ingredients within this candle to direct your intentions into the universal consciousness. As you sit and allow time to settle, embrace every patient trait 
you can muster the lessons found within it, this stillness can serve you for many months to come this candle has been anointed with juniper cedar wood and sandalwood oils and then it's in italics it just talks about you know burning the bottom to be able to um set it <clears throat> how to like um you know set it on a a dish um make a little wax petal <laughs> from the and then you can stick it but they're pretty sticky to they'll they'll kind of stick to <laughs> the bees wax is pretty good i'm on a bed right now <laughs> i had to, i guess the like camera stopped for <laughs> um for some reason <laughs> so i was just uh sharing how like you really don't have to you know, do a, a puddle too much, but yeah, I always like to just, you know, burn the bottom and <laughs> stick it in, uh, even if it's just on the plate, <laughs> but um, I have a lot of candle holders I like to use, so uh, there was, so like I said, there's no incantation or anything for the candle this month, um, so we got a necklace like in, uh, was it in the January box? It was the one that we received the candle holder in. And it kind of give, gives me vibes of like the older like moon boxes I've seen. They've featured like necklaces, but this one's pretty. <clears throat> Usually um, they've, there's necklaces in the, there was like necklaces for a good hot minute in the Roots boxes. Um, but I like how they did this uh, cord. It's very pretty. And it goes with like the, um, the key pendant that they did last month because it had the bay leaves around the green opal. So I could see like layering these two pieces. Very pretty on the black cord, the lobster claw clasp. And then very pretty on the back, it's like cursive. Not cursive, really, it's more just very flowy. As the mighty greenwood tree, protected, grounded, connected be. Oh, how cute. <laughs> how beautiful is that? So this is the second item, exclusive guardian, it feels really nice, uh, guardian of the trees, pewter pendant with cord, the beautiful guardian of the trees, pewter pendant with cord has been exclusively created for this collection on the back on the pendant of this pendant, excuse me, you will find the following inscription. Which I read, as you wear this pendant, allow the symbolism to resonate with your journey. Be intentional about setting time aside to reconnect and reground yourself. Relax and remind yourself of the place of your place in this beautiful natural world. And it feels feels very nice. The pewter, it's like, and something to like. It feels kind of concave in the back, like a worry stone. You can kind of see that. Feels nice. Very pretty. And then our big, big item. So it's always like, usually get like two per se like items that then goes with like the recipe of their box, which is like the artwork, the incense, the candle, the herbs, the tea, the sake, the ritual salts, and then usually a crystal, um, you know, we've been good with making sure there's been a crystal in the moon box, um, more often, but, uh, I have not looked at this, so there's still salts on this bubble wrap. So this kind of reminded me of, um, they did a box like this, 
of her Hecate. Oh my goodness, the salt's like shaking out of the bubble wrap. That was one of these like uh, um, trinket boxes. Which I've never received one of these in in a um, description box like myself. I've seen them be featured, oh my goodness, very often. Um, but I haven't received one myself. So I wasn't subscribed to any of those boxes that included them. So here's the bottom. Really pretty. Very pretty sides. The squirrels. The sun. It's giving me like with the vibes the tree and then I wonder what type of bird that is and it has little paw paws at the bottom it's smaller than I uh, thought it was gonna be but that's okay because I was kind of hoping it wasn't gonna be too big because I don't have a lot of like table space to kind of put this my altars are all like <laughs> pretty full and I saw that they actually put that Hecate box back in the moon market for it. Um, which I've been kind of I was kind of wanting it more to display on a shelf like upside right then to like and then also use that as a you know as a box for her Oh my gosh, all the salts in the bowl wrap. Um, but, like, since I received this one, it made me always think, like, I need to stop. <laughs> but it's really pretty. So, yeah, this, like, you wouldn't be able to. I was thinking, like, could you put, like, cards in there? I could put like my baby um <laughs> once again I keep I have an oracle card um deck in here and then I keep pendulum in there the two pendulums in there actually right now and then some crystals but um just just put that in there a small rider rider weight deck. Um, but it's really cute. Um, so this was the Tree of Life Earthen Vessel box. And then it just says, let's read the top of it. Um, we are so excited to have the opportunity to include this beautiful hand-painted tree of life earthen vessel box made from cold cast resin front and center on the lid you will find the representation of the tree of life known to be a fundamental archetype in a variety of traditions and mythologies um let's see that kind of goes on. Um, we urge you to use this Celtic tree calendar. Okay, we recommend. Where was I? Document your thoughts with the new Book of Shadows. We recommend re writing at the beginning and end of each cycle to discover. To find and discover growth, we urge you to use the Celtic tree calendar and corresponding attributes as another form of insight on your path. Okay, that's cool they incorporated that. I haven't heard anyone kind of read this paragraph yet, so um, that's towards the end though. I didn't, it's a big, it's really not as big as everyone was saying it to be. Um, But it asks, okay, I'm just going to read. You will find that this tree calendar within this collection, as well as the company 
interesting information regarding each tree in their anatomic description. As a specific time of year arises, take the time to ponder the meaning from the classified Celtic tree horoscope. Work to understand how these attributes are directly related to your current situations. What rituals and meditations feel necessary during this time? How do we let go and obtain new viewpoints? Or new points of view? How do we push past the boundaries of our comfort? During this time, place your written intentions into this box. In addition, we recommend going outside into your local park, out into the nearest forest, find natural items such as rocks, fallen leaves, etc. Place them inside your box within or excuse me, with your slips of paper. After the cycle is complete, remove these items and meditate on their meaning and place in your existence. Document your thoughts with the new book of shadows. We recommend writing at the beginning and end of each cycle to find and discover growth. We urge you to use the Celtic tree calendar and correspondence Con corresponding attributes as another form of insight on your path. We may, or excuse me, you may find that working intentions and items placed within this box hold more power and resonate than they would have expected. May your journey burn bright, bring surprise, and continue to foster your creative spirit. So yeah, it's pretty. The only thing I find peculiar is uh, the little like stamp on the outside right here. It's kind of like, I guess it's just like, you know, the, um, but I find it peculiar of all places that they could have stamped that. They stamped it on the outside of the box where like, you know, you're going to be like looking at it. I don't know, I kind of found, find that interesting. Otherwise, interesting how it's, um, <laughs> it, uh, it's kind of like the lid's very, kind of like, um, small for, for this box. Maybe they made it so it's like, you know, you didn't have to worry about doing something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that was, um, that was everything other than the oracle reading. At the end, it just says, as you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. Cast your intention to be pure of heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is much knowledge available to you. Take pleasure in knowing what, take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and blessings that it holds. Open yourself to receive these beautiful gifts. We send you the energies of growth during this time, or excuse me, during these coming months. May you find inspiration and creation in all that you seek. Blessed be the witch's moon, the earthen vessel, May of 2023. Um, and I was gonna. Oh, yeah, my Oracle card. Everything was kind of on top. So let's try. A little necklace. spell a little charm bag in there and then uh, the willow bark little bag in there for right now too and a little pie <laughs> for the next oracle or next deck <laughs> Seek the 
the symbols. Wow. So anyone that's watching, seek the symbols. And this is um, Personalized Oracle Reading from the Divine Nature Oracle Deck by Agni Sullivan's. <laughs> Sorry for the car downstairs. Um, but yeah. Here is just a... And um, this was, I like how they put this box together, um, but I, I would have thought that they were going to go out about, about it a little different way. But I still enjoyed this box, and I know I'll end up using that box in a very magical way. And um, I loved all the smells of this box, um, and I love the artwork that came <laughs> to like be able to use that in your craft is really pretty. But um, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. <clears throat> I opened this box. Sorry for all the all over the place. <clears throat> Obviously, you can see kind of the flow of how I'm feeling, <laughs> but I figured um, I was excited. I want to open this box, and um, I didn't want to really want to wait too much longer. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'll go for my witch's bounty, and um, and yeah, please stay safe. Have a good weekend, and. Um, I'll to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.